Welcome to Insight Builder channel. API enthusiasts, Python experts and my dear friends. How to do warm up practice for Django API and front end. Part 3 of many videos. So the Django backend, we do the CRUD operations that is create, update, delete and uh, read. We also send inputs and out, get outputs from the, from the backend, right? But we have to think about the front as well as the backend in parallel. And uh, in order to get this habit, we need to start creating and working with the render functions. In the last videos that we did the warm up, we primarily used the JSON response and HTTP response. Now we are going to work with the render function where we are going to directly render the dictionaries that is Python dictionaries onto the front end HTML. We'll be using the Jinja templating for doing this. Django has a support for that. And in order to integrate the templates with the Django views, we are going to work with the templates folder inside the Django application. Next, we are also going to work with the forms that is going to integrate the front end along with the back end. So we are going to do both getting and posting data to and front to and from the front end. So all these things we are going to do it in this particular discussion in the next couple of uh, minutes. Let's begin. I have a clean uh, command line interface here and I am going to create my project inside the D drive root itself. So in order to create the Django project, I need to have a virtual environment that has already the necessary Django files, uh, necessary Django libraries installed. And one such uh, virtual environment I've already created with the name OIT project inside my uh, system. So I'm going to call that right now using the uh, using the path that I am calling and I am going to activate the environment. So the active the environment has been activated and I am going to use the start Django admin Django admin start project and I am going to say yt tutorial. yt tutorial is the project name and once I initiate the project, I can go into the YT tutorial that is YouTube tutorial and I can run python manage.py and I can create the app flow. So the app name is going to be flow because I want to practice for being in the flow when I am trying to work with uh, Django applications. Now the flow app is also ready. Next what I am going to do is I am going to do python manage.py and I am going to uh, migrate the uh, migrate the database models onto the database the SQLite database and keep it ready. Next once this is done uh, the activities that I need to do on the uh, command prompt is done. Next I am going to move to the VS code and start working on the code base of this particular uh, project. So I have added the project YT tutorial onto the VS code workspace and I will start working with this uh, folder from now on. First thing I need to do is I need to go to the settings.py and I need to do a couple of things. I need to first of all remove these things. This is not required for me and I have to import the OS module and I have to go down below and I have to add the flow app that I have already created. I have to go further down and I need to add the template directly directory from which I will be rendering the templates. So these things I need to complete. And as you can see, I am going through the process from the top to bottom. So knowing what and all needs to be modified is uh, very crucial. So here we need to create the static root and the static uh, folders and the static URL. So I am going to create these things. And uh, these things are required when you are going to render the render or 
provide resources to the pages front end pages so i am going to do that static folder is equal to os dot path dot join is the uh, is the syntax that i have to use and i need to join with the static folder so this static folder right now i have not created i will have to create it here so i will create two folders right now one is the templates folder and another is the static folder anyway in this particular uh, discussion that we are right now having we will not be using static folder a lot but if you want i will be introducing the introducing it a bit fine so that is done and uh, the settings.py is up and running apart from that next thing that we need to do in is the urls.py in the urls.py again you can remove all these things it is not required for us and you need to include the app path into the uh, url pattern so for that i am going to call uh, create this syntax and i am going to keep it on the base itself i don't want to create any kind of additional path and i am going to say flows dot url this is what i am going to do and after that this work is done next i am going to go into the flow folder and i am going to create urls dot py this is the script that i will need for uh, the url patterns and i am going to uh, going to import from django dot urls import uh, path and i am going to create the url pattern and i am going to call the path so this is where the url patterns will be and before i start creating the path i need to in uh, create a couple of other things so i need to go and create a view which is going to render me a index page so in order to create an index page i need to have a couple of html pages so for that i will have to go into the templates and i have to start creating the html's so the first html page that i will have to create is base.html so this base.html will have all the necessary uh, necessary framework of html tags to load further uh, further data and make the site uh, palatable i am going to start by doc type and i am going to create html here and in the head i am going to create title so till this title we can actually do it in a very streamlined fashion so i am going to call a block called title and uh, then i can enclose it with n block so this is where the title will uh, get uh, populated when we are going to create the when you are going to create pages on this and also we need to load the static uh, uh, static tag so for that we will be using this option load static and uh, below the head we can start the body and in the body we will have the block content and we will end block right so this is uh, what is actually required right after you have done this actually you can start uh, you know uh, populating the header and footer but without a proper css and the styling the page will not be complete so for having the css and having the proper view etc we need to have some kind of meta html tags as well as the styling html tags so that i will be bringing it from my earlier project that i have already used during the warm up so i will go to into this warm up front end and i will go into the templates i will open the base.html so this is the earlier base.html that i have already used and i am using this as a reference in this uh, in this particular discussion right so here what i am going to do is i am going to pull this particular link so this is the style sheet for the bootstrap that i am going to pull and next thing that i am going to do is i am going to uh, pull all the viewport related and meta care set that i that i uh, require so i am going to pull that from here 
and i am going to paste it here so these things are uh, are mostly boilerplate so i am uh, not worried about it that much so i am just actually pulling it from there next i am going to pull the further uh, couple of uh, scripts that is required for us if you are going to do some javascript in our uh, html pages so that also i am pulling it here and uh, the the base html is right now almost complete next we need to bring the header and the footer so in case of uh, so in case of uh, this particular uh, this particular uh, uh, base html we can close this we no longer need it but we have to create the header and footer so we are going to say include header.html and we are going to say include footer.html and we are going to create a two simple HTMLs here. Let me do that right now. Go into the templates. So I am under flow folder. I am going into templates and I am going to create a new file. And the file name is going to be HTML, header.html. And inside the header, inside the file, I am going to create it as header. And uh, the header is going to contain a, uh, contain a nav bar. And inside the navbar, I'm going to have a heading of H4, which says welcome to the Django warmup. Right. So that is what it's going to contain. And the navbar is going to have the class navbar. And the background is going to be uh, primary. So these are all uh, my, uh, bootstrap related uh, CSS and also I am going to have the class as blog header and I am going to give a bottom spacing of py2 and this is the header that I am going to create that's it and next I am going to create a footer.html footer.html and here i am going to call the footer which is going to have a simple uh, container and the footer will also have uh, we can actually go up to h6 this is a warm-up app that's what i'm going to mention here and uh, yeah we are almost done so in order for us to uh, we cannot actually render the base.html we have to have a one more html file that is going to extend all these things and that is called as index.html so this is the file that we will be rendering so this file will first of all extend the base.html and it is going to also uh, we are next going to create a title for this so we have to say uh, block title uh, yt tutorial this will be the title that comes at the top of uh, the uh, top of the um, browser and after this we are going to create the actual content block so the block content is going to come here block content and we are going to end the end block and between this between this end block we are going to have the divs so these divs are going to be again go having uh, going to be in the in the container just to ensure that the uh, data is uh, properly uh, positioned we are going to have a header of h5 uh, this is index index page so this is what we have to see when we going when we are going to render the first page now that we have set up all the necessary templates we are going to go and create the view so you see what is happening we started with the urls the urls is empty and we had to go and create the views but before we started creating the views then we realized that we need to have the templates if if you have to render something right so we have to render as well as we will be using redirect uh, we will be rendering couple of pages uh, let us actually you know create one more page copy it and let us actually create a 
page 404 also so this page will be used for uh, rendering if there is an error in the uh, if there is an error in the uh, application so let us delete this let us actually copy the index.html let us copy this and let us paste it and let us just rename it page 404 and uh, we can just change this there is a error in the view and we can say h2 page 404 excuse me so we have this also and uh, let us now go to the view let us close this uh, page 404 I yeah let us close that and uh, this is the index page so as I am as I am trying to move between the pages I have missed between the file names so I am correct I have corrected it right now I am going to index views and I am going to create the index view so I am going to say index view and I am going to call the request object and I am going to return render yeah I am going to directly render the request I am not going to do anything else and I am going to render the output on HTML and the context is welcome so I say welcome hello there right and this particular welcome we have to uh, get it onto the front end so let us go back to the index.html and uh, we can actually say the welcome here this is going to refer to the uh, refer to the dictionary key that we created in this area so it will refer to this and it will return this particular string value that we have created let's now go to urls and uh, let us import from views import um, index view right and we are going to create the path right now and the path is going to be base path uh, view is going to be index view and the name is going to be base so that's what we are going to do and uh, we are almost ready right now so let us go to the uh, before we go to that particular uh, uh, particular uh, command prompt we can start using the command prompt inside the uh, inside the uh, vs code itself so we are going to go back out and we are going to enter into the project that we created that is yt tutorial and also we need to activate the uh, activate uh, the virtual environment because we are going to use a different command prompt right now not this one right not this one so we are going to use that command prompt so we are going to activate it the reason i have a reason for that that's why because it's actually going to be inside the vs code itself it will avoid one more additional uh, uh, window because we are going to open a new browser window right now so yt command reply yt project and uh, scripts uh, you can see that i am not actually using the uh, using the vs code execution environment because i want to activate stuff manually so that's why i'm doing this and uh, i can do a dir right now and you can see that uh, the yt tutorial is here and uh, the uh, we can start using this manage.py so let us do python manage.py and run server so this should actually bring the server up and we should be able to okay that is a issue that we are finding and it is saying that no module named flows so what is the issue that we are facing one thing that we might be facing is that the app name that we have provided is not matching uh, if you take a look at the app name we have given it as flow but in the settings we have given it as flows so that's why the error has uh, uh, okay here it is flow just a minute where have we created is it as flows 
वन मोमेंट सो द एरर हैज अकर्ड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया दैट इज इन दू आर एल्स डॉट पी वाई यू हेव टू गो टू द यू आर एल्स एंड यू कैन सी द एरर इन दिस लोकेशन सो आई एम गोइंग टू रिमूव द एस हियर एंड लेट एस कम बैक टू द एरिया एंड लेट एस री रन द सर्वर होपफुली दर इज नो फर्दर एरर एंड या द सर्वर इज अप एंड रनिंग आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन दिस सर्वर एंड यू विल सी दैट दर इज अ problem that you are facing so it is saying that invalid tag on line 1 instead of extend it should be extends so let us go to the index.html here again and i have to change this to extends and i am going to uh, re execute this and i am going to make this kind of a diff, uh, this kind of a split and i am going to execute this again and you can see that the page is up and running now that we have the basic page up and running we are going to introduce two forms here the forms one is going to get the use get request and another form is going to use post request so before we issue the uh, forms we need to create the views so let us close the urls as of now we don't we need this url which is from the uh, application that is flow application and this views is where we are going to create the Uh, create the definition function definitions let's proceed def get name we are going to get a simple name from the uh, front end and uh, we are going to check whether the request is uh, from get type and if it is get type then we are going to say name equal to request dot get and we are going to get the name key from that and we are going to return render request and we are going to render the output on the index.html only we are not going to create any new uh, new names uh, new uh, files or uh, new templates so the name is going to be name here i am going to give it as g underscore name so that uh, we can uh, differentiate it when we are going to work with uh, post post uh, function so here i am going to render and i am going to redirect to page 404 in case of uh, error or if there is no any proper request so this page page 404 and this get name has to be added to the urls.py so i am going to add that page 404 and uh, get name so both of these things we need to add i think the page 404 is not created yet so def page 404 just a second 404 request and i am going to return render i am going to request and i am going to render page 404 dot html so this page is uh, going to be having uh, a simple uh, error error key saying that there is error that's it fine so that is what this page is going to have and uh, we can go back here and we can create a path for this uh, uh, these functions right now the views functions so we can say get name and we are going to use the get name uh, function and uh, i am going to name this path as get m so that is a path and uh, next path i am going to create is page 404 so you can see that i am uh, trying to create the path name everything same as the function name that i am uh, using so in this way what will happen is the more any number of functions i can create and i can still keep track of them without getting confused so this is one of the ways you, to avoid and uh, keep track of avoid losing track of uh, your function names and your uh, uh, program logic so we have done that now we can uh, start building the front end because we want the form in order to 
work with the backend right so the form is going to be inside the div again and the form is going to have an action uh, that is going to come to the url url and uh, the url is going to be get n that's the that's the path that you are going to use and the form is going to contain three things it's going to contain the label for name and the label is going to be called as name and this is going to be having an input and the type uh, just a second there is a easier way if i do input like this and if i press type the uh, the type will automatically get uh, populated and the name is going to be named this is very important because this variable name is going to be referred when you are going to call the uh, submit button uh, and next is the button that you that we are going to call button and uh, and inside that we are going to say type equal to submit and we are going to say get name so that's what we are going to do and this is the most simplest form that you can come across uh, as you can see the label the input and the button and also we can give a little more uh, details on styling so we can say this is of style button and uh, we can actually give it uh, give it a space of uh, three units and this div is also going to be having uh, some space so that it doesn't uh, get crowded so these are all bootstrap uh, class uh, class attributes that i'm using here and uh, let me refresh this page and you'll see that i have got the form here so it's a uh, it's a straightforward activity that we are doing here and uh, this uh, one thing that i've missed in this area is that this divs have to be inside the main div the main container div so if i execute it right now this will actually shift so if i click on get name right now if i have any data here so it will get updated so you can see that once i give the uh, uh, once i give the name subaru you can see that the url gets modified so let me refresh it or in fact let me actually do this let me create one more uh, uh, one more button here that can uh, that can go to the home so let us go back and let us go to the header again and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a button and i'm going to give a class of mx3 mx3 button and i am going to make it as button danger go home uh, okay before that i have to create a link so it's uh, going to have the href url base so it has to be going back to the home so i'm going to say go home let me execute this right now you'll see that there is a new button that has come if i click it will go back to the home so if i press the name here the url will change there is a thing that is getting uh, you know completely removed from here if you click on home the things will come back here so now what is happening is that uh, when i am uh, when i am trying to send the name the function is getting executed but there is no method that i have attached so i need to give the method and i need to say get and uh, now when i call this it will actually go to the get name uh, class so let us execute this and uh, still we are not getting the output so what's happening here the primary challenge that we are facing is this welcome uh, this welcome uh, uh, variable is completely eradicated if you go to the views when you are going to go to the get name and if you when you look at the context there is no any welcome uh, welcome uh, variable wel welcome key so that is only get name key right so what we need to do is we can actually do two things we can either attach a welcome key to the uh, context or we can actually print the get name key so we can say g underscore name also we can say hi there so now when we execute the 
let us actually go the, go home so you can see that there are two uh, things that are getting rendered so that is just hi there this hi there is coming from this welcome and this hello there is coming from this particular update so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it little more colorful so these things uh, as you can see i am not you know trying to be very uh, uh, specific on uh, uh, how the output should look i am just trying to you know go with the flow and i am trying to update as much as things as possible so i have changed the color here and i am going to change the color of uh, the regular welcome to something that is uh, more palatable so i am going to say danger it's going to be in red so let us execute that so it be became red now and i am going to call subaru and you can see that the red uh, welcome actually went off and you can see that once i give the name the name gets updated here next what you are going to do is we are going to again create one more form this time the form is going to contain the post request so before we go ahead and create the post request on the form we need to create a post request on our views so let us actually copy this because most of the things are almost going to be same and uh, instead of get name we are going to say post name and most importantly this is going to have a csrf exempt or else it will actually create a error so i am going to uh, call from django views decorators csrf import csrf exempt and now that is ready and i need to get the post here and uh, let us use the post instead of the post name and here i am going to instead of using g name i am going to use p name so that it can render it appropriately and if there is an error it will go to page 404 with that said let us go to the urls now and we can import the post name and we'll create a path which is going to be similar to this so we are going to say post instead of get name it is going to be post name and it is going to be post n post n right so now that we have saved it we can go to the index.html and now we can create the form so creating the form is also same as what we have done in the past so we are going to take this and we are going to copy paste it and the action is uh, post n and the method is post and the name actually we can change it so that it will be little more uh, different to avoid any kind of challenges i am changing the name to p name and i am going to say post name so once you change the name here you have to change it on the views also so let us go back here and we need to look for p name here or else you will actually end up in error and uh, we yeah we have done everything right now and uh, let us let us see the output let's execute it so you'll see that there is a new uh, new text input that we have got and there is something called as post name so if you update the stuff here say let us say headphones and if you execute it you'll see that uh, we are getting only hi there but uh, the hello there has vanished because now i am actually using the post okay now i have clicked on go home the moment i did that this hello there came in so this area is where the get names come in now similar to this i don't have any place where this name that i'm giving get will get placed so i'm going to go to index.html and i am going to create uh, i'm going to make it little more clearer the got name s same way i am going to make this secondary hi there the posted name is and i am going to say it as p name so this line is talking about the name that we have got from this area subaru and this area the post name that you are seeing that is coming from p name that will be from here so if i click this you will see that it is coming as headphones so when i uh, irrespective of uh, whether i am getting or posting 
this line will stay as it is but only the uh, only the location of the names will get modified you can see that right now the both post and the get requests are working so with this kind of an update that we have done right now we have actually come to a close of our uh, video so we have done a lot of activities in uh, in this 35 minutes of uh, discussion just a minute so to do a quick recap we wanted to do a warm up practice with django api and the front end also uh, we saw how to you know render the function move the context dictionary uh, data from the views to the front end we also saw how to create the templates and uh, create the forms that is going to get and post data to and from the front end so all these things we had reviewed and we had created a new app new project we did the settings and all these things we were able to do it in less than 35 minutes the idea here is that doing it in a regular fashion the things will uh, you know fall into place in a very fast rate so once you are able to bring up a very good looking app in a very less number of less amount of time uh, then you will actually start gaining confidence and also you will start building on top of what you have already got it here so that is the main intention of you know pushing for these kinds of uh, warm up uh, practices the more you try and do it the better you will become so i believe that you have learned a thing or two from this discussion so do leave a like and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, for further updates on similar kind of videos till the next video warm up warm up practice practice see you guys have a great time